He explained that this project began 2015 under former Antiquities Minister Mamdouh El Damati and continued under former Minister Khalid Al Anini in 2016 after the merger between the Tourism and Antiquities Ministries in 2019. An international scientific committee of foreign and Egyptian archaeologists and experts in pyramid sciences was formed, headed by Hawes, to continue working on the project. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Mr. Ahmed Badr, our tourism expert. It's a very good afternoon to you, Mr. Ahmed. Hello? Hello? Mr. Ahmed, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon to you and all the audience. Good afternoon to you too, sir. Uh, let me start by asking you, Mr. Ahmed, what is the SCAN Pyramids project and when did it start and why? Well, to start in 2015 mm -hmm. uh, to discover the secrets of the Great Pyramid. Right. We all know the Great Pyramid is one of the... Uh, it's actually, it's not one. It is, is. the most yes. amazing uh, building ever built, and we're uh, with so many secrets around it. Uh, so throughout the years, so many uh, wanted to discover uh, the deep secrets of the pyramid. How was it built? Uh, uh, who built it? Uh, any secrets inside? Any secret chambers? Any secret uh, uh, passes? So. Uh, that's why uh, the Ministry of uh, Antiquity started this uh, project in 2015 to, dis to discover uh, the secrets of the Great Pyramid, uh, which led to this amazing uh, uh, discovery that we uh, knew about uh, two or three days ago. Mm -hmm. Now, could you tell us a bit more about this discovery? What are, uh, you know, the specifications of this passage that was discovered uh, in the Great Pyramid? Uh, more details would be very helpful. Well, it's a, it's a secret path uh, that is uh, two meters long and almost uh, two meters wide width mm -hmm. uh, that is believed uh, to be leading to the real uh, burial chamber of King uh, Chaos or Khofu. Mm -hmm. uh, because we all know uh, what we call the, uh, the chamber of the king right now, it's not uh, it, it's not the real uh, burial chamber for the king. Mm -hmm. uh, so throughout the years, uh, it was a big mystery where, where was uh, King Cheops was uh, buried with all his uh, treasures. Uh, did he? Uh, did they really uh, bury him inside the pyramid? And then his mummy and his treasures uh, were stolen. A uh, long time ago, or uh, they're still there. So uh, that's why this uh, discovery is uh, comes with great hopes to uh, lead us to the real uh, burial chamber, mm. and we discover uh, the treasures of King Chaos, which, if happened and that was real, this would be uh, the biggest. Uh, the archaeological discovery in all history. It will even be bigger than the discovery of King Tut, uh, tombed uh, 100 years ago, uh, because Cheops was, uh, as a, I mean, in history side, he was a uh, much greater king than uh, King Tut with uh, many importance than King Tut, which was just a boy king that ruled for eight years. Uh, so definitely this will be uh, something uh, at least amazing, you know. I, I cannot find a word mm -hmm. to discover, uh, to, to say if we really uh, mm -hmm. discovered this. Indeed. Mr. Ahmed, tell me now, such a discovery was, uh, you know, uh, very interesting and the whole world was very interested to hear uh, about it. But what can such a discovery mean, in your opinion, and what can it lead to with regards to further discoveries? As you said, you know, the Great Pyramid is the oldest and most amazing structure left standing until today and surely still, you know, holds many, many secrets in its construction and what it housed. Yes. Mm. Again, yes, the whole world was uh, watching this discovery and everybody was really uh, keen to know about it. Mm. And uh, even now they are uh, more keen to know what will this discovery lead us to. Uh, so definitely this is in terms of 
publicity to Egypt. This is a great publicity, you know, always uh, great to have Egypt in a good way in the national media. And we all know uh, Egyptian history and Egyptian civilization is always uh, fascinating to, whole, to the whole world, not just uh, Egyptian, uh, with all the secrets around it. Actually, there are more, most of the secrets are just uh, invented by, by people because there are so many that we know about them uh, that makes them just... Uh, they were brilliant people. They were very organized. Very, uh, they knew they knew what they were doing, and uh, you know, almost everything was uh, written on uh, uh, the walls of the temples and the tombs and uh, the papyrus that they left us. Even moving uh, big uh, structures like big uh, uh, statues and obelisks, uh, there are drawings on this uh, on the tombs, but. And the fact that there are so many people who don't know about this, so they think it uh, is a secret or it was built by aliens or all this uh, nonsense that is going around. But at the end, we all know uh, something like the pyramids. We discovered the, the, the village of the workmen who built uh, the pyramid. Definitely they were Egyptians, uh, our grandfathers. Uh, definitely they were workers uh, that they were uh, getting paid and they were getting uh, treated from uh, different uh, sickness and illness that they uh, got during the building of the pyramids. And also, uh, uh, you were, you were fed, feeding them uh, probably, probably. So uh, at the end, uh, most of the secrets are not uh, really uh true uh, so this something like this will shed a huge light on egypt and definitely will help us having more uh visitors and more tourists uh, to egypt indeed and speaking about more visitors and tourists to egypt the egyptian uh, the grand egyptian museum is another uh you know uh very 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 a wonderful place and museum that will soon be officially yes. inaugurated to attract uh, many Egyptologists and ancient Egyptian lovers from all around the world. A very exciting uh, thing for uh, you know Egyptologists and uh, keen enthusiasts to look forward to exactly. uh, very soon. Uh -huh. Indeed. Right. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Mr. Ahmed Badr, our tourism expert. Thank you very much, sir, for your time and your insight and for joining us on our edition of Cairo Local Time. And another short break, and we'll be right back to continue our episode. Stay tuned.